Okay, so this tutorial is about learning the basics of interfacing with a Hitachi HD44780 LCD display. And it's going to be based on a tutorial called How to Use Intelligent LCDs, which uh, you should be able to find the link in the, in the comments below or maybe in a pop up on the video. This tutorial featured in Everyday Practical Electronics in 1997 and it's a very straightforward and very easy to follow tutorial. So I strongly recommend uh, if you want to work with the HD uh, 44780 that you read through this tutorial and there's another one on uh, interfacing with microcontrollers and they're both very interesting, very easy to follow. You don't get bogged down in details, it's a very practical guide to interfacing and programming as it says at the top of the top of the tutorial sheet. We'll take a look at the wiring diagram now. Right, so first two pins go going right to left, uh, fairly obvious enough, your VSS is your ground, your VDD is your positive five. Then your next wire is uh, goes to a variable resistor to the to the ground. Now this one is your uh, your contrast. So uh, you wire that up, and you can just adjust your contrast with that resistor. The next one along, that's your RS pin, and uh, so you put your four K seven resistor to positive five, which means that uh, when the switch is open. The, the ORS pin is high and when the switch is closed that brings it all to ground which uh, brings it to zero. Um, your next your next pin is your RW which is your read write pin but uh, we're only going to be using the write uh, value here so the, that's that's put straight to ground which is a zero so uh, the next one along then is your enable pin and as before you have the 4k7 going to going to the positive 5 so that's basically a high and then uh, your switch is a push button switch system and so when you push the switch you bring it to zero so uh, that yeah when you push the switch that brings that pin low and uh, that basically tells the LCD to receive data from from the pins that are following that now, which are seven to fourteen, and these are the bits that you send to your or that you send to the LCD display. So what you have here is a DIL switch, which uh, which has eight switches on it, and each of those. Uh, is connected to the positive uh, or when the switch is open the each of those pins is connected to the to the positive rail by 4k7 uh, resistor and closing the pins it uh, brings them to or sends a low value a zero zero volts brings it to the ground so what you do is using those eight bits there you set them either high or low and you can send commands and characters to the LCD. Now we'll have a look at uh, my circuit that I've created on the on the breadboard here. Uh, first of all you can see there is the negative wire and the positive wire. Next is my contrast which is coming to this variable resistor or that uh, potentiometer. The next pin then is the switch which I've just moved over here so that you can see it. That is the RS switch. Then next down from the RS switch is the read right line which is going to ground. Then next on from that is our enable switch which is here, it's just a push button switch. Then following that is the start of the the bits which are 
on the DIL switch here. And I also have a, a backlight on on this uh, LCD, which uh, I'll show you now. I can control that. Basically, you just can control the brightness. Here in that uh, potentiometer. Uh, this um, this LCD I just got on eBay. It's uh, only a couple of euros, so they're fairly cheap uh, device. So just for experimenting, it's a cheap cheap thing to add to your project. Now that we have the circuit, uh, circuit wired up, and there's two there's two tables we need to just to understand really before we uh, before we can really send any commands to the LCD. So in the in the tutorial that uh, that we're working from, if you look at table two, which is the command control codes, you can see uh, basically there is. Eight commands there, which uh, can be controlled using the eight bits on the DIL switch on our board. And uh, just one thing you have to check is that you're in the that your RS switch is in the command mode. In the command mode, which is uh, that's the low mode, so that'd be uh, the zero. So. Um, Basically, all you do is set up your uh, your DIL switch so that the bits match these uh, these values on this table, and push the enable switch. That will send that data to the LCD. Um, what's the main one? Well, the main one would be the display on and off and the cursor. So you can see there that uh, it's the fourth one down on the table. So the lowest bit uh, controls whether the cursor is blinking or not. The next one along uh, controls whether the cursor is underlined. And the third one along turns the display on and off. So this is basically going to be the first command you send to the LCD. Or just it won't be on. It won't power it up unless you send this first. So uh, what else is there? Well, that's kind of the main one there. Uh, once you send that command to the LCD, you can enter in characters after that. So we go to the character table, which is table three. Now, your highest bits are at the top, or run along the top, and your lower bits are running along the left-hand side. As an example, if you want to send zero, what you would uh, set up on your DIL or DIL switch would be zero zero one one zero 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 zero. To send a one it would be zero zero one one zero 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 one. And a two it would be zero zero one one. So now we zero, enter zero, in the, one, zero. the command into the, the LCD, and uh, first thing to do is to set the set the cur or turn on the display and set the cursor to blink. And uh, what's the other thing? And to be underlined. So to do that, you go over to your dip switch, which is here, and the logic you want to send from the lowest bit to the highest bit is one 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 zero 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 zero. Now for this switch, I've pushed them down to get a one. So one one one. One and zero zero zero. I have to make sure that the RS switch is in ground or is is uh, closed. So uh, that is all right. So if we push the enable switch, we should get our blinking our blinking um, cursor. Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to want to send a character to the display. So. Put all our DIL uh, switches back in place. Flick the RS switch over to character mode, which is high. Now, what we want to do, we'll, we'll send an A. So, 
what to do is you send a 1000010. So 1000010. And then push the enable button again. We should have an A. And as you can see, there we go, we have our A. Now, if I push this a couple of times, there, see that? Uh, I pushed the button once, but two A's appeared. I'll try again. There's another, again, it's happened. So, what's happening there is because, um, because I'm only a human and not a microcontroller, when I push the button, I can't guarantee that I'm pushing it once and holding it until it's released. So, on those two instances, what I done was I pushed it, and without realizing, I actually pushed it twice. Now that's a problem when you're when you're putting it in as a manually, or when you're entering in the bits manually. But when your microcontroller is doing this, it is not going to make that same mistake. It will send one pulse and go to ground. Presuming you haven't programmed right, of course. But um that's the reason for that double digit issue so let's see what else over here so we added a few characters there and also there's the contrast I'll show you the contrast so if I change this potentiometer there you go you can see changing the contrasts um, and that's enough you can send a few different just by choosing random digits you'll be able to Send more characters to the LCD. Strange. Now, so now we have a the LCD is full of digits. So what do we want to do? We want to clear that. So we'll go back to our command uh, table, and so we we'll see that what we have to do is set a one on the lowest digit, or a high on the lowest digit which is there so we set that to 1 and all the rest and now make sure your switch is back in command mode now if I push enable we've cleared the screen again so that's that's perfect uh, another thing we can do if we go back to character mode and we'll just enter in a few random characters again ok that wasn't much of a character what's going on there now I don't know. There's character, right. Oh, what I was doing there first, I was putting it into the custom characters. That's why we were getting that. There's a few things in there now. Um, so, we'll just go back here now. And if we go back to command mode, what we can do is, if we set the outermost pin high, we can bring the cursor back to zero. So now our cursor is back in its uh, original position. And here again you can then enter in more characters. So if we switch back to character mode, we say we'll enter in an A again. So there an A. And it writes over characters. So there you go. It's very simple to control. You just need those two tables. You basically read your or read whichever character you want whatever command you want, enter it in in your 8 bits of data, send it through the enable pin, make sure you're in the right uh, the right mode here, either command or character mode, and that's it really, it's as simple as that. Well, that's the end of the video, uh, I hope you've found what you were looking for, and understand how to used LCD now. If you have any questions, uh, post them on the forum or, or on this page or on the Facebook page. Anything you want, you'll find the links below the video there. I'll try and get a video up about uh, interfacing with a 